you're probably wondering what the hell am I looking at? And my reply to that is it's a 200 piston extender. Now to know why I made a 200 piston extender, we're gonna have to go back a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit quicker than this. Okay, even quicker. Come on, this is taking way too long. Back to when I was a baby. Okay, maybe not when I was a baby. It's more like a week ago, but that's beside the point. It was your typical day. I was scrolling through YouTube when I found this channel right here called Oman3307. Just look at that menacing face. It says right here he's some random bedrock redstone nerd. Those two things fit perfectly with me. So I go to his videos to watch him and I see 29 piston extender from Minecraft bedrock. To say the least, I am intrigued. The non-existent rumors are true. I have created a 29 horizontal piston extender in Minecraft bedrock. Oh, well, this will be a great video to watch. And for what it is, it's really compact. <sighs> nah, you did not just say that's compact. After doing some YouTube searching, the largest one I could find was 22 pistons. But I would honestly be surprised if there wasn't a bigger one. So I don't think mine breaks any world records. Well, now I know what I gotta do. I gotta make a bigger one. Do I know much about making piston extenders? Well, I made a double piston extender once. So really, how hard could it be? So my idea for the extension system is really simple. So basically, I'm just going to extend the back piston and then the next piston. And it's just going to go like this. And it's really simple. I just got to do them in this order from back to front and it should work fine. So here's my revolutionary design to accomplish such a feat. So I've just used some repeaters and basically just extends the back piston first. And it's that's it, really. So, since half the mechanism is just it expanding, I guess we're half done. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back. I think we're already halfway done with this. Such an easy challenge. So let's get right to work on the retraction system for this. So for the design for the retraction system, it's pretty simple what I came up with. It's just an observer line, and every time I send an update like this, it makes it go back one. Wow, this was really easy to do. I can't believe Omen would take up so much space just to do such a simple task. Nothing could possibly go wrong now. Like, look, it's already, like, almost done. Let's flick it another time. And look at this. It's almost perfect. It just needs to pull the gold block back one more. Nothing could go wrong. Are you kidding me? So basically, the problem is, as soon as that one piston retracts, the one behind is able to extend, and it makes this entire system not actually work. Now you might be able to see why all the other designs are huge. And the sad thing is, no matter how many times I flick this lever, it will not actually ever fully close. It's always just going to be like one block off. So the real question is, how do we fix this? Well, this took a long time to think about on how to fix this, and I think I came up with a solution. And that solution is my shift register for my last video. Best part is, using the shift register and the other stuff we used, this should in theory be infinitely expandable, meaning we can make this infinitely long so we can beat Omen's record. And let's say he ever does beat us again, then we could just make ours longer because it's infinite expandable, so you could just copy and paste it longer. Now the reason the shift register is perfect is, as you can see, it shifts over one. And if we have a system like this, we can retract it, then we retract it again, and after that, in theory, the shift register then would go off, and then right at the end over here, then we could just make it where then it can't send a signal to this end piston. Then we send a pulse again, it retracts everything a little bit, then we cancel this one right at the end. And we can just keep repeating this process infinitely many times depending on how long this piston extender is, and it should work every single time. And look at that, we found an easy solution to our problem. Now instead of using our hands, if we just connect the shift register that I designed in the last video to it, then we can just have it do that automatically, and then make the shift register as long as we want depending on how long the piston extender is. That shouldn't be that hard. But after many hours of work, I came up with this. So as you can tell, we have the shift register on top over here. And if we go on the other side, you can see that this is a 20 piston long extender. And in theory, we can make this as long as we want. To extend it, we just flick this lever right here. And as you can tell, the pistons all start firing. This takes forever to do just for the opening sequence. But I mean, it's fairly quick for how big it is. I mean, after this, all we have to do is add like 10 more pistons, right? And then we'll just beat Omen's record by one. And as you can tell, all the pistons will be extended at the end. It just takes a second. Now, there still are bugs with this design also. The shift register decided not to go fully back this time. I just don't know why. I've spent hours debugging. It just decided not to. So I'm going to just send another signal real quick to tell it to retract. After sending the signal, here we go. It starts retracting. They all retract together and they'll stop at the end. Now, the way that the pistons are extended, just like the example, is we have barrels here that go into the comparators, which go into the pistons so that it stops the observers from sending signal to these pistons that are part of the chain. So if we go back to our simple example right here, you can see instead of it going into the observers, it goes into these wool blocks right here. 
because once it goes back down with the wool block, it's not actually going to power the piston, which if it had the observer before, it's going to detect and it's going to power the piston. As you can tell, if I put an observer here like I had it before, once it goes up, it's fine just like normal, but as soon as I extend this, it's going to power this piston, it can mess up the entire machine. So that's why I just added a layer of wool because that does nothing to affect the pistons when it extends back down. Anyway, let's go back to the retraction of my 20 piston extender. So all I do is flick it just like this, and then in theory it should start retracting. And looking just at my luck right here, for some reason I don't know why one of those pistons extended early and broke this entire system. I love that that would just happen. I promise this thing did work before, I don't know why it's not working now. If you go to my shorts channel, obviously I'll have an opening and closing video already. I have posted multiple of them of the thing actually working. But now that we're here, we might as well point out another flaw with this design. So since this is a shift register, I can't actually stop it till it goes all the way till the end. Then I'd have to reopen it and then reclose it again to make sure it works. So I have to wait through this process two more times basically. So obviously this is not good enough for the video. So I worked on it even more. I already set the goal of this video to make one piston extender that's longer than omens and more compact than omens. I cannot let you guys down. So I worked on this and worked on this and I may have potentially gone mad. I decided to not only do all that stuff, but also make mine one tall. So if you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing because obviously, as you can tell, this took forever to make and design and go through this entire process. Also ignore the boat in my inventory. We're going to need that later. So here's the design right here. And yes, this is in theory an infinitely expandable piston extender that is one tall and I think might be quicker than omens. Maybe not. This design right here though is only a 20 piston extender again while omens was obviously a 29. But as you can tell its extension process is fairly quick. I mean it does take a second to actually register that it did extend and then it goes all the way back through and then make sure all the pistons are fully extended. Because I ain't cheapening out. I ain't taking a one pulse at the end as counting. This thing has got to stay fully extended once you have the lever flicked. And if we flick the lever again, it retracts everything just like this. And as you can tell right here, I have a redstone clock right at the end also, by the way, just to make this thing retract even quicker. Now, Omen played some intense music for his retraction system when he was showcasing it. I just don't feel the need to waste time because this thing is fairly quick on retracting. As you can tell, the solution I stuck with in the end is instead of using pistons, what I did is I locked the repeaters so that they won't actually receive an input so the observers can't actually view it. And the system is too wide because I use an RS NOR latch, so an RS NOR latch being one tall has to be too wide, so that's why it goes by two, so I have a T flip-flop at the start of it so it gets two inputs before it sends one signal down. And as you can tell, this thing's already fully retracted. That is the entire 20 piston extender that's one tall. Now, obviously, this design could be made smaller, just like I have a few things here, like this T flip flop is kind of big right here. This slime block line right here is just to speed it up a little bit on the opening system. And you think the video is done here? No, 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 no. You would sadly be mistaken if you thought the video was done here. I decided to not only beat Omen's record of 29 pistons for his piston extender, but to completely crush it and take it out of the competition in general. Crazy me thought to take that design and turn it into a 200 piston extender. I'm sorry if this isn't the most climactic 200 subscriber special. I had a different idea, but it broke Minecraft. Now it makes sense to why I have the boat because this is actually quicker than flying. And yeah, it kind of takes forever to go across because it's like 400 blocks long. But here we are, all the way at the other end. Without further ado, let me show you the extension process. This is gonna take a minute to fly by. I mean, there's only 200 pistons, so I have to fly like 200 blocks. Just get to the start of the pistons. Now you might understand why debugging this was such a nightmare. But here we are, all the way at the start over here, and now we just wait for it to go. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up because this actually takes 2 minutes and 34 seconds to fully extend all 200 pistons. Cue the montage music. Wait, where'd the montage music go? I was just getting into that. Oh wait, it's already done. Now let me show you the really tough part, the retraction system. Now I have to grab the boat to actually go all the way back to the end again because this would take forever just to actually get there the other way. Yeah, this is taking forever. Wow, maybe I am crazy. Now if you thought the extension system took forever, just wait for the retraction system. I'm gonna have to speed this up because this actually takes eight minutes and 40 seconds to do. You know what that means? Cue the montage music. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you also to everyone who subscribed. I honestly never thought I'd get this far. Lastly, have a great rest of your day.